we will perform a resting ECG measurement. In our case, we'll be using the stick-on self-adhesive electrodes, but you can also use uh, vacuum electrodes or other electrodes of your liking. After you have chosen your patient, you go into the ECG application. The application will let you know how to place the electrodes, whether you're using the stick-on electrodes or the vacuum electrodes. So we will be using this left guide. First, we'll be placing the four electrodes. And then we will continue on with the precordial ones. After you have placed the electrodes, you will take your M tablet and you will start a measurement. Very shortly, the signals will stabilize and we will be able to see the ECG signal. You can choose different views. You can also adjust different settings before, during or after the measurement. And you can opt for a manual capture or an auto 10 second capture. You can also always turn the tablet horizontally to receive a better view. We have chosen the automatic capture here and in about four seconds, we will receive the ECG measurement. You have the ECG, then you have the University of Glasgow algorithm interpretation, you have different intervals, axis, and you have the patient's history, so you can monitor the trends. You can add any comments and you're done. If you decide you want to share the measurement for a second opinion, you can do so immediately by pressing the share button or you can print it out from the tablet or from the computer. And you're done. Uh, after you are done with the ECG measurement, you can also perform other measurements such as blood pressure, pulse oximetry and so on, so you can receive a full diagnostic of your patients.